Showing product categories on your WooCommerce store helps guide users to what they're looking for easily. It can also declutter your shop, giving it a more user-friendly look and feel. This video will show you how to display product categories and tags in WooCommerce. WooCommerce does not offer an easy way to display categories or tags on your various shop pages. The available options involve a lot of work, so we recommend using a website builder like Seedprod to customize your WooCommerce store. Seedprod is the best website builder for WordPress. It lets you create entire WooCommerce websites, landing pages, and custom WordPress themes without coding. You can choose from hundreds of ready-made templates and customize them easily in the drag and drop page builder. Seedprod offers many blocks and sections to add WooCommerce content to your site with just a few clicks. So I have a clean installation of WordPress here and we're going to install Seedprod as well as WooCommerce and then import some sample products into that so that we can work with those. If you already have this all set up, you can use the timestamps in the description below to skip ahead. Let's head over to seedprod.com or click the link in the description below. And I'm gonna be using Seedprod Pro so you can go ahead and click on Get Seedprod Now and select the account that makes the most sense for you. Once you have Seedprod, let's go ahead and click on Login and enter your email address and password on the left-hand side and click Login. Now Next, we're going to click the second tab here called downloads and we're going to click on the big button here to download seed prod pro we also need the license key here in the bottom left hand corner so we can click the icon there to copy that to clipboard and we can close this tab back inside of wordpress let's come to plugins on the left hand side and go to add new and we'll go to upload plugin here at the top here we can choose the file that we just downloaded or if you're using the same browser or similar you can click here and drag and drop it right here let's hit install now and activate the plugin let's paste that license key right here and verify key and you should see a green success message in the top right corner if everything went well we can close this tab at the bottom next we want to install woocommerce so on the left hand side let's go to plugins and add new and in the top right corner let's search for woocommerce here on the top left you can see the first result woocommerce click install now now let's click on activate here it'll run you through the little setup wizard here for the different steps you can go ahead and do that if you like i'm going to skip the setup store details here at the bottom with this link and it wants some usage tracking here i'm going to click on no thanks next i want to add some sample products to my woocommerce copy here so let's go to personalize my store and here we'll see import sample products let's click on import products and there you go you should see a message on the bottom left that says all of those were imported now to add categories and tags to woocommerce we need to make sure that we have some so to add those you have to go on the left hand side here under products and we have categories and tags here so they're not under posts these are different these are for blog posts or articles we actually have products now for woocommerce and we can click on categories here we can see that the sample data that i just imported actually imported some sample categories as well so we have clothing here and then it also has some subcategories underneath that so clothing and then accessories hoodies and t-shirts then we have decor uh, music and then an uncategorized here so on the left hand side is where you can actually add new categories your name and then the slug this is what is shown up in the url here so for example wp admin this would be the slug for the current url that we're on right now we also have the parent category so if you want to put it on a, a subcategory or select a parent one you can do so here you can add a description you have a display type here, products, subcategories, or both. And you can upload an image with that and then just simply add new category. You can also edit these under edit or quick edit. You can delete, view, or make default. So right now, I believe the uncategorized is probably the default category. You can change that by clicking here. And then it's pretty much the exact same thing for tags here on the left hand side you can click on tags now it didn't add any for these so you could add some manually when you add the actual product in woocommerce so the tags can be used to be more descriptive of a product for example maybe it's a loose fit and you could put that in here here's the slug it's the same thing as url and description just click add new tag and that'll be shown up here as well now if we go under all products here on the left hand side you can see a list of all of the products that were added as the sample collection so if i click on t-shirt with logo we can click on this we can see the details with the title the description and all the information but you'll also see product tags here on the right hand side and our product categories above that so here for example if i start typing loose you can see that this will look up the loose fit one that we just added or you can actually add new ones here so maybe tight fit and then we can click add and that'll add that tag here and you can add multiple ones if you want same as category you can add new category and select multiple. Great, so let's actually check out our store here. We have the site, this is the front page, and then we also have the store. I'm gonna open both these in new tabs. So this is just the default WordPress theme that we're using. And this is the default theme that came with WooCommerce here, along with our sample products that we can see inside of WooCommerce. So what I'd actually like to show you is how to import a WooCommerce website kit to update the look of this really quickly. Seedprod makes this 
extremely easy. So on the left hand side, we have seed prod and then we can come under the theme builder. And now the theme builder, we can actually build our own website kits and themes and complete website designs. And this is compatible with WooCommerce as well. So if we click under themes, we also have these pre-made themes that we can use. So here we have the starter theme, but there's also a WooCommerce starter theme here as well. Let's go ahead and I'm going to click the check mark here to import this one. Right now to enable this seed prod theme here, this is a website kit that we just imported. We're going to click yes. This will set your home and blog page to be static. It's going to automatically change that in your settings here. So I'll take care of that for you. And you can see that under settings, reading your home page displays. Okay, let's click on OK and let's come back. We can refresh our shop here and we should see the new design here. Now, it's still quite basic looking. We do have other pre-made ones as well, but you can see how this was updated. And you actually now have full control over how this website looks. So if we check our front page as well, here's our front. We can see we have a nice header. We have some products on the front page and different sections that you can modify. We also have the shop. This is where we just were now. We have a blog section if you want to have a blog section my account section here. And we also have the cart and everything else that you can add along with, if we come back to the shop, we have the actual pages here where we can see all of the information for this specific product. So if we come back, we can come down to all of the pages here. These are the theme templates and we have home page. Let's click on edit design. So here now we can see the seed prod website builder and we want to display our categories on this page. So we already have a section here for our new arrivals. But maybe we want to change it by category here. So if we come on the left hand side, we have our blocks. These are easy drag and drop blocks that we can put into our page. So for example, if we want a button, we can just drag a button in here and we can modify that however we wish. On the, on the right hand side here, we have our new arrival section, but maybe we want a drop down of categories. So let's go ahead and do a, a quick search here for categories. And under widgets at the bottom, we actually have product categories. So we can actually drop this in right here underneath. And obviously we don't like the look of that too much, maybe in a sidebar, but not on this section. It takes up too much space. So let's click the block settings. And on the left-hand side, you can change the name here if you wish. And you can order by name or category order, however you like. But we also have show as dropdown. Let's go ahead and click on this. And if we click apply, you can see that this will update. If you like, we could actually get rid of this title completely since it says select a category here. So you could just have the dropdown form we also have the product counts, the hierarchy, only show children, hide empty categories. That's probably a good idea. And we have maximum depth on the menu itself. Let's go under advanced here and we have heading topography. We have the heading color. We already got rid of the heading, so we don't need that. We have the text topography here. We could actually center this and this will put this in the middle of the page for us. And I think that's good. It just keeps it nice and simple here. So let's go ahead and save this and we can click on preview. This will open the window for us. And if we come down, we should see this full width form here with a drop down of all of the different categories that we have. So for example, if I want to click on hoodies, this should take us to our hoodies category page, which the user can now see. Something else that you might be interested in is let's duplicate this instead of new arrivals. Maybe you want to have a category section up here for say new accessories. So under new accessories, we could actually show a grid and we have the WooCommerce products grid. We can drag that underneath here and I'll select the block settings and we'll change this type of for the query from all products. Let's do a custom query and you can select tags or categories. So let's select category. And I only want to show accessories. We come up to the top. Maybe we want to show five of these. So I'll just change the limit to five and the columns to five wide. So now we're showing all new accessories here. You can actually change the different order by here. So by date and the order. So descending or ascending here. So we have newest first. So there you could go through and maybe show different sections of all your products. Plus you have the drop down now for your categories as well. And of course you can do the same thing with tags here. If you have enough tags and products listed under those tags, go ahead and save your page and we'll refresh the preview here. And if I scroll down, we have our new accessories. So here we can see those accessory products, our new arrivals with a drop down menu, and then the products underneath that here. Let's go ahead and come back here and let's look at showing product categories on shop pages. So here we have the shop page. Let's go ahead and edit that design. And this is just going to be basically the same thing that we did on the, the front page. We'll just use that category but under widgets we have product categories. Let's drop that right in here and you can do the exact same thing here. You can keep this title if you wish. Maybe we could capitalize this. Let's keep it this time. We have the category order by. 
let's show it as a drop down let's show the product counts on this one and uh, we'll hide empty and apply and for advanced let's go under topography we want a smaller headline here maybe around 16 and there's different margins spacings you can play with all that if you like so if you go ahead and save this we can go ahead and preview we'll come under shop and here you can see the product categories with that same drop down so if i click to hoodies and they'll be taken to that hoodie page and lastly, I want to show you how to show product categories in the sidebar. So we actually have a little sidebar template here. However, the template that we're using, the website kit, doesn't seem to have a sidebar here. So let's just add one quickly. It takes a minute. Let's go back to our homepage. Let's edit that design. And if we come down, let's add one maybe for the new arrival section here. So here, I'll just add a new section. And we can see that down here. Let's click the add columns. And I'll click one where it has a right column here and a left. The left is a little bit bigger. And now we have all of our products here. We can actually move all this stuff down. I'll just build this from scratch so you can see how quick and easy this is. We have our new arrivals. I'll delete all of these little spacings here. We can drag this one if you want to move it and move it into this block if you like. And let's go ahead and maybe we can align this to the left-hand side. Let's go ahead and get our products. So I'll look for the grid under WooCommerce product grid. There we can see all of the products here and you can change how many you want to show. So maybe you want to do three columns instead. So it's a little bit bigger on the right hand side here. We have a sidebar that we can use. Now we actually have a sidebar template set up under the template parts. So if we come under seed prod here, theme builder, we can see that there is a sidebar already. So we can actually include that specific part here. So under template tags here, we can look for something called template parts. And I can drag this over here to the right hand side and I'll click on the details, the drop down, and let's just select the sidebar. And there you go. Let's save this and we can preview this page. If we come down, we can see we have a sidebar here now. And this is completely customizable with the background, the fonts, all of that. If we come back under here, we can actually edit the design for that specific part. So you can include this anywhere on your website, and then you can just edit it in one place right here. So for example, let's go for the categories under widgets, and we have product categories. You can make this a little bit nicer. I'm just doing this quickly. We can get rid of the search for now. And I'll click here again. You could show maybe the list here if you like. Now this isn't really designed very nicely, but you could clean this up easily. Or again, if you wanted, you could show that drop down by doing this and we could save this refresh the page and there you go you now have a drop down of all the products here in a nice little sidebar and here you could show all kinds of different information and sales and products categories social media stuff whatever you wish now that you know how to display product categories and tags in WooCommerce, maybe you'd be interested in these seven best WooCommerce product grid plugins to boost revenue or this video on how to customize the WooCommerce checkout page. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.